Welcome back, one and all, to the Weekender's Edge. I am your host, Nick Simonson, outdoors writer with my materials online at NewsDakota.com and DakotaEdge.com. Great to be with you here as we try to string together two great July weekends for your fishing and outdoor activities. So let's take the next three days, wrap them all up into three minutes so you can get the most out of all of your adventures outdoors. Starting out on Friday the 22nd, wake-up lows will be in the middle 60s as you crawl out of bed. Highs getting into those upper 80s. It will be our warmest of the three-day stretch as mostly clear skies dominate our conditions and those winds will be wonderfully light out of the south, 8 to 10 miles an hour all day right until about evening. Then we will see that wind shift into the overnight hours out of the north, 10 to 20 miles an hour by sunset. So be aware that you will see that shift in the wind and it will continue into Saturday for your fishing adventures. So we look to the 23rd, there will be a cool down behind those north winds and a light cold front that rolls through. Lows in the lower 60s highs getting only into the middle 70s so keeping things comfortable for your fishing adventures on saturday but be aware of that north wind a little bit stronger 12 to 25 miles an hour all day long tapering towards sunset for good opportunities out there along those south shores where that wind is coming up stirring things up and allowing those walleyes to go a little bit shallower on many lakes where you might be fishing calm conditions will come in overnight and that will continue into sunday the 24th which is our pick of the weekend lows near 60 highs is getting up to near 80 and those winds like I said will lessen they will still be north but they will be much lighter 8 to 10 miles an hour all day long mostly clear conditions again giving you that sunshine for Sunday and with that same pop-up clouds that you might see from time to time throughout the summer you might have a little bit of accumulation of cloud cover in the afternoon before things clear off into the evening so all in all a really great weekend you're gonna have those strong north winds on Saturday that taper you're gonna have a good walleye bite in the evening with that stirred up water target those south bays target those south rocky shorelines and target those points that have been swept by the winds throughout the day and you will find success and that will carry on into Sunday as well. Things looking less successful however in our grouse counts throughout North Dakota for that reason we caught up with Jesse Kohler upland game supervisor with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department to learn more about where our sharpies sit. We were down 13 percent statewide and that varied a little bit stronger declines in the southwest and less noticeable declines at the further east you went and most of that corresponded with what we saw last year in our brood routes or our index for reproduction and upland game. It's a little bit late to get some of that cover, but the grouse hatch does extend all the way from late April all the way through sometimes into early August. So hopefully this additional cover will protect the chicks and the nests that are out there late. That was Jesse Kohler with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department filling us in on where grouse counts come in. That wraps up the show for this week, folks. Have a safe and enjoyable one. For the Weekender's Edge, I'm Nick Simonson. Good fishing to ya.